How's it going, everyone? It is Andre Williams, and over here we talk stocks. We focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about CEI Camber Energy. And I must say, a lot of you guys have been sending me messages saying, Yo, Dre, I crushed it in this play. Thanks for the videos. I was telling you guys, we had a lot of resistance at $1. The moment we get above that, there's going to be a lot of selling pressure. Yes, we did have a pullback trading now in the 90 cent range. But does that mean you should take it off your radar? Well, we'll talk about it in this video. I won't waste any more time let's jump into the agenda if you're new to this channel i just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description but if you're a shareholder you're thinking about taking a position i highly suggest you watch this full entire video so the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis we're going to be taking a look at the overall price action we want to know support we want to know resistance we want to know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario and then we're going to be going on fintel taking a look at the short interest information the reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs and then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for CEI. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at 99 cents, being down 6.19%. On the low, it tested 92 cents. And then on the high, testing $1.05. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 69.105 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 43.504 million shares. So it did have above average volume on the day but as you can see we had a slight pullback. When we take a look at our chart which is a daily chart you can see from the RSI down below it is at 59.06 and then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart we are above the 50 day we're also above the 100 day the 21 day EMA and we closed just above the 200 day so if you guys remember what i said in my previous video if you were able to load up on some shares in the mid 70 range you were able to enjoy a nice pop here all the way to one dollar and nine cents so of course we did have some profit taking on the day so if we continue to pull back even further then i want to see if support could actually hold up right at the 21 day ema which is at 85 cents and also as far as for the pullback we had on the low at 92 cents this is not too bad because we were able to actually fill in the gap since we had a strong gap up from the day before so that is something you want to take into consideration is this an area for a potential entry possibly and the reason why i do say that is because it did get down to 92 cents at the low and then it had a strong pop as the day moved forward so that is something you want to add to your homework and see if we have that increased demand in regards to the pre-market and as far as the next level that we want to see for a further breakout i've talked about this as well is getting above the one dollar nine cent level to see if we can make that move where we could see some resistance potentially around 125 but for the most part it seems like it's just going to consolidate and as long as it's holding down those poor areas like we've spoken about things continue to look good for CEI so we're going to take a look at the short interest information for CEI so the off exchange short volume ratio is at 51.60 percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 47.59 million shares scrolling down further on the page the short shares availability is at 750,000 updated just now and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 31 for the latest and the max at the day it was at 42 0.44%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume, we can see for the close of the 14th, it was at 51.82. And then for the close of the 18th, being at 51.60. So what does this show us? Yes, there's a lot of shorts who are interested in CEI. But when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float, it is only at 9.85%. So we need this to be a lot higher in order for a short squeeze to actually be pushed and also being followed up with a lot more buy pressure coming into the stock so now let's move on to the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for CEI so we see on the inflow it is at 12.41 million and then on the outflow it is at 18.67 million so we ended up having an outflow day taking a look at the breakdown on the large it was 1.56 million on the medium it was 7.81 million and then on the small it was 3.04 million and on the outflow side on the large it was 
3.59 million. On the medium, it was 11.15 million. And then on the small, it was 3.93 million. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you could see for April the 19th, which is today, we had a negative outflow of 2.03 million. And we also had a negative outflow on the 18th of 0.65 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tend to represent the retail side, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the large, it represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 19.32%. Not too surprised for a volatile stock like Camber. But one thing that is clear, there was a good amount of profit taking on the day, and it's not surprising. We've talked about this on many different occasions. When you're inside of this play, you wanna wait for it to pull back to support. We'll talk about those levels inside of the final thoughts, so let's get into it right now. So for my final thoughts for Camber Energy in regards to the price action, if you're looking for a bullish move to the upside, of course we need to go back to $1, but we have some clear resistance at $1.05, and we also can't forget about $1.09. Once we break through these levels, I wanna see Camber getting to $1.25, and then seeing what we could do from there. Again, we need to have some more buying pressure coming into the play. There's a lot of profit taking that is going down at the moment. If it decides to pull back now, I wanna see us at least hold up support at 85 cents. This would show some continued strength. Don't forget, on the day we ended up seeing a low of 92 cents because we had to fill in the gap from the previous day knowing that we had a strong gap up. So, so far the chart is continuing to look good, but if we pull back to 85, I wanna see some buyers stepping in. If not, then I'm expecting support to hold up around 80. And if it doesn't hold up around 80, then I wanna see it hold up in the mid 70s. And if you remember what I said in my previous videos, this is an area where you add to your position and many were able to actually take advantage of that run up when it got above $1. So I would say for yourself, keep an eye on those levels, do some research for yourself and figure out the right buying point for you. Of course, I can't give you guys financial advice, but one thing that is clear, I would wait for the selling pressure to slow down and also keeping an eye on oil prices will be crucial. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, even though it doesn't have short squeeze potential, you still wanna keep a very close eye on this play. There's a many shorts who are vested. So knowing this, the moment we have that buying coming in, that's where CEI can move very quickly. Many people were saying, well, you know what? This stock is done. It has nothing left in it when it was trading in the 70 cent range and even in the low 80 cent range. And I was telling you guys, this is the accumulation phase. So as far as what it's looking like right now, since you already know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario, the bullish case scenario, plus you know the support levels, do your homework. If you have some more questions, then come inside of the Discord. We talk about CEI as well and also have the benefit to make sure you're ready for the next trading day before the market opens. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how this stock performs going into tomorrow. We'll talk soon.